I'm Jan from TriStars Training. Today we're going to talk about transitions. My transitions set up in the order that I'm going to put things on. Because there's always the classic you will always see in transitions, newbies, putting on that helmet and then trying to get the bike jersey on. Or, you know, putting the shoes on and then trying to get the bike shorts on, that kind of thing. Um, so it just helps to have it in the order that you want it to be. Depends what you want for gear. I brought a few things here that, that people wear. Um, so typically, uh, I don't tend to, uh, I, I tend to race in um, what I'm actually swimming in. So I don't tend to have, um, you know, shirt and bike shorts, but if you're going to, some of the first things that you put on, and you want to roll them down. So you can imagine you're damp, you're wet putting this on, so it's, it can be quite difficult to put on. So roll things up as much as you can, and then once you get it on, you're just rolling it down. It's much easier. Same with the bike shorts, same with socks. It's much easier to roll the socks all the way down, pull them on the top, and then just roll them up. Then bike shoes, your helmet, and have your helmet straps open upside down so it's the direction that you're going to put it on, glasses open. Same with the shoes, depending on what your shoes look like, um, you know, some are elasticized, but have them as open as you can so that you're not, you're not fighting with any of the, the straps or laces. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Same thing for the run. I come in, by the time I'm getting into my transition, I'm already thinking about what's coming off. Um, what I tend to do in coming into transition, and it's something that you've got to practice, by the time I get into transition, my shoes are already off and they're attached to my bike. I've actually taken my foot out of my shoe and I'm riding with my foot on top of the shoe. Um, don't try that race day if you haven't tried it before. <laughs> so it's something that you've got to practice. You'll see people do it the other way too. They'll actually have their shoes on the pedal and with a, an elastic band so it keeps them in a horizontal position. You'll see most of the elites do this. I personally have never tried it. Have you guys tried that one yet, I Carolyn? Bob, have you that done that one? one? Yeah. Um, I fall over. <laughs> Too much going on getting out of transition, so I haven't tried that one yet. Um, same for run. So you're already thinking about what, what's coming off. Um, you want to make sure whatever order you've got. So I've got my shoes, I've got my hat, I've got my number and a belt. Um, one tip for being a little bit faster in transition for shoes, because you'll find, especially in transition, you don't have a lot of dexterity. So trying to tie up shoes is always a bit of a challenge. Things like elastic laces, um, or you can have uh, toggles. Does anybody have toggles on yeah. their shoes? Toggles on their shoes. So they can have regular laces, and it's just a, a toggle that you put down. Much easier than trying to you know, tie a bow when you're in the middle of a race and you're trying to go as fast as you can. Um, hat and your number, old number from last year. So what I do recommend is that you have a number that's attached to, I just have a piece of elastic here that I put on, a lot of people have race belts. Um, it allows you to choose what clothes you're going into in the race. Uh, it may sound obvious, but sometimes it's freezing cold in the morning and you think you're going to be wearing that long sleeve jersey. You're going to pin this on to a long sleeve jersey, typically from the time you're actually entering into the water until you're getting on that bike is a couple of hours, an hour and a half, depending you know, on what the race is. Think about being in a long sleeve jersey right now. Nice and warm, it would be really hot. So um, typically what I do is I come into transition, helmet, shoes, they're off. My running shoes go on. I grab my hat and my number and I'm out of transition. I'm not even putting this on yet. I'm doing this as I'm running. I'm showing the number to the person as they're as I'm going out of transition, because typically that's where they're uh, recording it, and then I'm putting this on as I'm running. So it's it's one of those things. Practice things, and then figure out what what works for you. Does all that make sense? Um, after you set up your gear, I always take a few minutes and and observe the transition area. So go to the entrance where you're going to be coming out of the swim. <coughs> What does that look like? Okay, I come out of the swim and it's one, two, three rows and my bike's by the power bar band or by the big tree or whatever. Do it from the other side as well.